this is no design exercise so before you start this exercise make sure you are using Simatron E10 P2 to do this exercise and after that uh, you can right click select save target as save this uh, file zip file into your working folder for example my working folder is under Simatron documents and this is the first exercise I name it as load part and then save of that we need to unzip it so we open the load part file and then right click the start zip extract select extract files and then save it into your working folder so inside the start file here we have the catalog and also the part work part so this catalog we will use it for uh, the other exercise not in this exercise so this is the first uh, step of the load part exercise. Next, we will create a uh, work part. So we uh, select this parting set of wizard to create the work part, and we select the open the file to select the part. Make sure you select it from your working folder. Okay, and then we check this create new folder and this we change to a mode and click OK. So this is our part for this exercise. And so the first thing what we need to do is check the part whether it's closed or not. So we go to analysis. Open Edge Analysis, New Open Edge Analysis. And at here we have several options. So the first one is Analyst by Object Options. The second one is Analyst by Selection Option. And the third one is Analyst Free Edge Options. For now, I'm using uh, Analyst by Object Options to check the Open Edge. So I select this. And the message come out and say that the object is closed. So we just click OK. So this is the first step. Uh, sorry, the second step for this load part exercise. Next, we we will define the basic directions. But before that, we go to tools, PMI tools. P, uh, select the PMI guide to close it. Okay, and then we select the parting analysis or you can go to parting and then select this parting analysis and under the new direction tools, now we have uh, two options. The first one is visual analysis. This is all method of the quick split. Oh yeah, before that, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that uh, parting analysis is new in Simatron E10. For previous version, we are calling it uh, as quick split. And uh, now uh, this analysis by solid and parting surface part is new in Simatron E10. And it allows use, us to use the system knowledge about the solid body structure and the existing parting surface to improve the quick split result and also help us find the mistake in uh, complex parts. When we are using the uh, solid knowledge, that means we uh, don't miss any small faces and it also means that we need to uh, stitch the part, the part uh, body part and however it is uh, it does not need to be close okay and uh, this all faces we can change it to ignore assigned face and this is analyzed by draft angle it means uh, which will check the direction of each face and stop spreading when we reach a face that creates undercut according to the opening directions and we can set the degree here uh, that we, we are willing to accept for example negative 0.1 or 0.1 yeah 
and uh, the face that have an explicit undercut uh, which means their direction is correct but another face is blocking their opening that will be colored in uh, yellow and not attached to the parting directions the edge of the of these faces that will hit the other faces when opening up color purple to help us identify the problem and for this analysis by parting surface part means um, we'll take into account parting surface and parting curve that we have created inside the parting surface part spreading will stop once it hits this uh, parting surface this means that if we have a perfect parting surface we can use these options alone and we will get a perfect quick split analysis and this analysis by draft angle and parting surface part is combination of both uh, stopping rules this draft angle and also the parting surface part so now we will begin our first analysis and uh, we need to select one of the face for example I select this and then I go to the direction analysis of the first optional and uh, this selector faces only I change it to all faces and at the back of the arrow here we I click and then select normal to plane of face after that I select this face okay and then uh, now we can check the undercut after that we go back to the main uh, stage so we use analysis by draft angle and then we this one we use our uh, offices options after that click start analysis so the result is quite good but we still miss uh, some area so um, manually click here and then click start analysis again so this is the result and then we can click apply Okay, now we rotate the part and we flip the directions we select one of the face for example I select this one and then click start analysis so the result also same as uh, for the cavity side so we manually click uh, at here and then click start analysis again so after that right click select ok and we exit uh, this parting analysis tools and after that we switch to parting tree and this we right click rename it and then uh, we call it as cavity this uh, rename it as core Okay, now we open the new direction tools again. So uh, we change the all faces to select the face only. And but before that, we need to um, select the face. Maybe I select um, one of these face and then go to direction analysis and this one normal to plane of face and maybe I select this one and go to the uh, main stage click start analysis so and after that right click select apply 
and then um, flip the arrow and after that select one of the face this you select the face only click ok Okay, after that, right click, select rename. Uh, this is slider mm, right. This is slider left. Okay. Next, we will define the work UCS. So we want our UCS uh, work UCS tag direction to be along the direction of the cavity and its uh, x direction to be along the right direction of the slide, uh, slider right. And we have a face that we know it is perpendicular to z. And we can use it endpoints to define x and y. So first, we need to um, make make sure the edge of this uh, face is parallel to the slider right directions. So we use the measurement options uh, tools and select the angle options, and we select this edge and move the mouse to the cylindrical hole here. And you can see the angle here is 0 degree. Press middle mouse button to exit. And after that, we go to datum UCS by geometry tools. And um, we select this as the first point. Uh, this one is second point. And this is the third point. After that, right click, select OK. And then we select parting tools, work CS. And then we select this, pick reference UCS. So we select uh, this UCS, uh, this, uh, the UCS web, uh, that we have uh, just created. Okay, and after that, um, right click, select OK. Now we switch to set uh, tab, and then we select this, and also this. Uh, UCS and after that at here we right click select move to archive and then you can save your file this is step 4 for the uh, load part exercise